New this morning, we are giving you an exclusive look at what it takes to keep SWAT members safe. In Johnson County, whenever the SWAT team deploys, there's a paramedic in the middle of the action. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan found out the county is training more medics for that dangerous job. He joins us now with the details. Some pretty cool access you got, Charlie. It really is, Tom, and it all boils down to the numbers. Over the last four years, Johnson County Medic has been responding to more and more SWAT-related calls. So the chief here for Medic wanted his paramedics to not only be ready to work in the back of an ambulance like you normally see them, but also in the back of an armored vehicle. And he invited us along to get, the, to get up that behind-the-scenes look at the training it takes to make a tactical paramedic. This is as real as it gets. Hey, listen. Full gear. Can you hear me? Real victims. Moving in. Guns drawn. Moving on three. Ready? One, two, three. These paramedics are getting a taste of life on the SWAT team. We find the uh, 22nd, third rib. We're all used to the rock and rolling in the back of an ambulance, but it's not quite the same in the back of an armored vehicle. They're called tactical paramedics, and they're right in line with the SWAT team to keep SWAT members or anyone they rescue alive. What's going on, buddy? It's a choreographed dance in a lot of ways. Only 41 Action News got an inside look at how they train. From ducking for cover to packing wounds in crisis situations, three of these new TAC medics will go to work for Johnson County Medac. Ben Schoolcraft is already noticing the difference between ambulance work and SWAT operations. When it comes to your safety that you have to realize that there are sometimes people out there that don't have good intentions and the uh, to get the train to have the eye to look for those moments when there's an opportunity that you may be harmed or uh, you know that something bad may happen that you can kind of recognize those. Which is why training is so critical. As a TAC medic, you're applying medicine into a very different environment. Captain Chris Winger says Johnson County Medic used to activate its tactical medics 40 times per year. The last two years, the number's closer to 80. So they have that bigger picture perspective and want everyone to be safe and um, make sure that they're taking care of their officers so those officers can then turn around and take care of the public. Hours of prep like this helps keep everyone safe when the guns aren't fake and the bleeding is real. So by the end of September, Johnson County Medic will have 12 tactical medics here on their staff. And that, that role, it doesn't come with a pay raise, although they do earn more in overtime based on uh, all the work they have to do for training and then responding to that SWAT-related duties. Reporting in Johnson County, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.